guys in this video i am going to show you how to fetch some data from database and also to insert some data into database on vamp server using python and pymysql library okay first of all open the vamp server okay, now on the right button you can see our vamp server is started uh, now just go to php my admin Here you want to create a new database. I just giving the name pyth underscore php. Uh, you can give any name there and just click on create button. Okay, now you want to create a new table on our database that is pyth underscore php and just giving the name pbl underscore py and number of fields equal to two. Uh, you can give any values according to your need okay now we want to give our attributes uh, i need only two attributes first one is data one um, and type of int and length is four yeah okay and second attribute is data two okay and type is var care and also the length is in okay done okay now just click on go oh no no sorry guys just click on save yeah <laughs> You can see there there is two attributes data one and data two uh, data one of in type and data two of work here yeah. yes guys yeah guys now we can just insert some data to our table uh, just go to insert on the top side just click on insert yeah guys here yeah, data one I'm just giving yeah 22 on data one and and data two just giving hi and click on go yes guys you can see the one row inserted let's click on tblpy you can see the uh, it's inserted 22 hi okay now just minimize that window and just go to our desktop and just go into my desktop and creating a new folder and uh, just giving the name uh, pyth underscore db yeah and opening that folder and creating yeah, and uh, opening the folder as PyCharm project. Okay, guys. I am using PyCharm Community 2020.1 version, but you can use any other ID. No issues. Okay, now click on File New, and you can see the Python file. Yeah, now we want to give a name pyth uh, db. Okay, underscore db. I'm just giving that name. Okay yeah now it's open okay now we want to set up our interpreter and just typing something a ah, okay configure python interpreter giving python 3.8 okay now i think it's ready okay now you want to install a library that is pymysql you can either install it from our terminal or python console or you can just go to file i'm just going to file settings and uh, wait guys yeah you can see their project py uh, py underscore db yeah on py the interpreter um, you can see yeah the on the left side you can see uh, my packages are listed and you want to click on the right uh, right side plus button or installing any new libraries you can see here yeah i'm just typing py mysql uh, you can see the uh, it's installed i have already installed it here. yeah you can see pure python mysql driver you can just click on install package and install it i have already installed it, so just going back okay now import py mysql yeah now it is imported Yes guys then we want to establish a connection with our database okay i'm just giving a variable conn equal to pymysql.connect then we want to give our username password host and database name yeah this username is root comma password equal to nothing i have not given any password on our host on vamp server so yeah and the host equal to localhost and database equal to pyth underscore php uh, 
uh, you can see uh, yeah it's pyth underscore php okay now we want to create a cursor object using cursor method so j just giving the name cursor equal to conn dot cursor okay now we want to give a query there uh, first of all we want to fetch uh, some data from the database okay we have already given some data on the database we want to fetch it okay i'm just giving the query okay uh, variable as query equal to we want to give a query there okay select star from our uh, table name is yes is tbl underscore py okay tbl underscore py okay i'm just giving the semicolon and uh, closing it with quotes yeah okay now we want to execute that query right so we want to create another object uh, just um, uh, installation another uh, variable r equal to cursor dot execute query okay guys Yeah, now we want to affect that data into a variable. So I'm just giving another variable that is data equal to cursor dot fetch all. Okay, if you give fetch all, then all the data uh, will be fetch, fetched. Um, yeah, and we want to print that data. So write print data. Actually, the data here is an array. Okay, you can see there, there is only one row that is 22 and high. Yeah, just minimizing it and uh, running the program. Okay, run, run. Yeah, byte underscore db. Yes, guys, you can see there, uh, it is written there 22 comma high. Yeah, that is on our database and under our table. Yeah, guys, I, I hope you understand it. Okay, I am just inserting another data. Okay, on data one eight and data two, uh, hello. Okay, and click on row. Okay, one row inserted. You can check it. Yeah, it's inserted on our table. Now we can. I am just uh, running our program once again. Yeah, you can see there. Uh, it is also displayed eight comma hello okay and if you give fetch one only one row will be fetched we can check it yeah running it yeah you can see only 22 to comma high is uh, displayed okay okay guys now we want to insert some data into our database uh, and uh, i mean our table we can check it import by mysql okay we have given the connection and set the cursor object okay and query yeah we want to change the query Okay, just delete it and give another query that is insert into tbl underscore py okay and uh, values you want to give the values and uh, just giving eighty eight comma anidut okay you can just check it okay and we know uh, we don't need that data and print data okay uh, means we we are not fetching something and also printing something so we can just delete that thing okay we can check the table there is only two row okay hi and hello 22 8 uh, yeah okay i uh, just minimizing it okay guys now we want to insert this data 88 command to our table just run our program run yeah, the process finished so we can check it just refresh our page you can see there our data is inserted 88 comma and with, oh, sorry 88 and with, yeah 88 and and with, uh, just giving another name yeah, uh, 33 and giving anas yeah okay again running our program okay running mm, yes process finished just uh, refresh our table yeah you can see that it is also inserted 33 ns yes guys i hope you enjoyed this section if so please like this uh, video and also uh, please subscribe my channel if you have not done it till now thank you